What's, What's up, up you guys? guys? Welcome back to another vlog. We're back. We are back and back to vlogging, as you can see. But this portion of today's video is sponsored by Wayfair Registry. And we're so excited to tell you guys about it because it's amazing. They like literally have everything home everything that home. you can imagine from bedding down to wine glasses, grills, um, Dyson vacuums. Yeah, you like can even <laughs> do like gift cards to some of your favorite places like Airbnb which makes it a great place to do your wedding registry. Totally. So what I love about Wayfair Registry is it makes it really easy, stress-free, and honestly, it's just really fun just because they have so much. Some of like the signature items Hunter and I have had since we've been married yeah. um, that they sell on Wayfair, yeah. like Dyson vacuum. Rugs. Ru yeah, all of our furniture, like rugs, our beds. Headboards, yeah. Yes. We've done many lighting on like different renovation projects, light like fixtures. different light fixtures, lamps. Vitamix. Vi our Vitamix blender, which is a ride or die for a wedding registry. You need to put that on there. Did and you say Dyson vacuum? And Dyson vacuum. I mean, vacuum. that's like a duh, no brainer. Yeah. I, I think that goes on like every registry. Totally. So why not go to a place that you can have multiple items across the house? Totally. Different experiences. Kind of covers like all the bases. Mm -hmm. They also have like really good brands like Le Creuset, um, KitchenAid. And Nespresso. Yes. They just have like covered everything. So if you guys are engaged or you're getting married and you're looking for somewhere to register, I would highly recommend Wayfair Registry. It is yeah. incredible. You can head to the link. We'll have it in the description box down below, but we'll put it here on the screen. It's gonna be wayfair.com backslash gift registry. And we have a code that you can enter. It's Haven's Home. And you'll get a $50 credit once your guests start purchasing uh, gifts off of the registry. That's on top of the 20% discount Wayfair gives you to purchase any of the remaining items on your list after your wedding. Again, that's wayfair.com backslash gift registry and enter Haven's Home to get started in seconds. Thank you again to Wayfair Registry for sponsoring that portion of today's video. And let's and hop, hop in into the rest of the, to the rest of the vlog. What up, everybody? Today we worked out and had nothing. No, which is good. It's been good, it's for, good for us. us to just but it's, bored, I think it's but hard for us. It's hard for us. So we're finding things to do. So yeah. we're going to the art store because we've been dying to get some things to paint with, and we keep talking about it. And every time we look up the art store, it's closed. Yeah, so I think we've talked gone. about it in the last couple of vlogs, but we finally yeah. made it out. We couldn't yeah. get Glenda for this. Oh, yeah. I forgot we were thinking about doing that. Too. That's why we were going out. Yeah. And then we forgot. Wow. Idiots. I swear, after our retreat, my mind has been like blank. Empty. It's so empty. I'm just... I had acupuncture today, and I, I like usually when I fall asleep, I'm yeah. like dreaming or like having visions or like just thoughts. like thoughts. Yeah. I had nothing. None. It was really? out. Just empty. Empty. It's empty. Like hollow. How I feel it's hollow. like it's almost like literally like our brains are fried. Fried. I think that's what they call burnout. You're just like. Uh, yeah. No joke. But anywho, we better hit Artorama. Yeah. We're at Jerry's Artorama. Mm -hmm. um, this is where we bring Cater to get all of Cater's art supplies. So we figured we'd come and pick some things out for our little art studio we're trying I'm to build. So, oh, I can't wait to get the paint colors. Ah! All right. I'm so excited. We definitely need a cart for sure. Hi. We're in the art store. Look at fucking Da Vinci. Not really. I'm gonna try to be, but it's not happening. What do we need? So. Where did Hunter go? I didn't even those colors. Hunter, you went in to brush it. You didn't even tell me. I don't even know where to start. I don't either. Let's just get some shit. Get some shit that looks good, you know? We need little palettes. Perfect hat. This is an artist hat. Free. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
didn't get any big ones. Maybe I should get some more bigger brushes. Wait. All right, we've left the art store. And now we are in the area of Germantown, um, which is a part of town that we love. It's so cute and has a bunch of good restaurants. So we've really been wanting to try a city house. It's right there. We're, so we we're just, in sweatpants. We're we'll in see sweatpants. Don't let us in. And my artist hat. This is cute. I love it. The little city background. Good vibes. Good vibes. Um, yeah, it looks like they. Unless it looks like a private event or something. That's cool. Those people look fun. You want to hang out? Look at stuff. I know. It doesn't look like they're, like, yeah, open. Let's see that. Music's playing. Maybe it's just quiet because it's a snow day. We're at City House. It was 10 out of 10. So good. So good. Highly recommend. This is a peanut butter and jelly ice cream sandwich. I already ate so much of that. Pizza pasta. And the chefs are really nice. We sat at the pizza bar. Best pecan pie I've ever had. Best pecan pie. Pizza pasta. The pizza was really good. Pasta was really good. Salads. Top knot. Beautiful. Everything was like fresh, simple. Oh, the soup was fine. Oh, the soup was good. We ate a lot. Highly, highly recommend. Yeah. Definitely come. We should probably get home to book it. We should. Our firewood's finally arriving. Oh yeah. I think the last vlog we were talking about ordering the firewood. Or I was ordering it on the camera. And then... It's there now. It's getting delivered. It's getting there. It's like a week and a half, two weeks later. You probably can't hear anything we're saying. I'm very muted. Good morning. Next day. Kind of fell off last night. Came home and just hung out, read some books, sat by the fire. I'm about to head to F45 for the 8.30 class. Julia, to get ready for Pilates, we're going to split up and go separate ways. He doesn't like to do F45 on Tuesday, Thursdays, because it's more like strength. It's like... And she says she's already strong. <laughs> no, I don't like... The arm days. I don't want to bulk up my arms. You don't know what it's going to be arms versus legs. Well, then I'll do legs at Pilates. Like, I'm good. I don't need, like, biceps. Thank you very much. What? We're good. 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 Nice little jolt for the gym. This little espresso shot and an ice cube cool off so I can throw it back. I ain't got nothing for you, bro. Oh, you want to nap? You love it. He loves this more than anything. Oh. I'm about to get it. Couldn't you get it past you? Scoop that up like a first baseman. Yes, you did. You're a good outfielder. In your ice cube. Pilates, we still have all of our art stuff from the store last night in the back of the car. Getting all my stuff ready. Um, so I don't need some glasses. Class is starting in two minutes, so I am late, late, late. And I gotta go. So I'll see you guys after Pilates. Alright, we're going to 
going for a hike today. As I said, we just want to like be in nature, ground our asses a little bit. So we're gonna go for a hike at Percy Warner. We should go to the at the side that Carly goes to to switch it up, do like a new path. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, going on a hike. It's 24 degrees out. I just didn't feel that bad because the sun's shining, but there are it is surrounded by trees. It's so shade. See. I feel like I'm. Gonna, I feel like I'm gonna be shredding later. Yeah. Shredding later. Um, but we're gonna stop and get uh, a little snack first. We've really eaten. I'm gonna wait till you pull out because the car is kind of narrow. Go in the car. We're back at this. Alright, yeah. got our biscuits to go. Wanna get them now? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Let's do it. Without me by your side, with a person can give you So when we decided to come to the game, Julie was out shopping, and I was at home. She was vintage shopping. Yeah. We're thrifting, and I Ubered to the game. Julia drove the car to the game, and she parked in a legal spot, and the car got towed. Well, I texted Hunter and I go, "There's literally no parking. It was the last minute decision." I was like, "Just find a spot. Hurry." And you're like, "Just find a spot." Wherever I go, should I just go wherever and just risk it? And you were like, Yeah, just do that. I thought you'd be a little bit more scrappy though with it. I'm curious to see what you would have done because there was literally no spots. Well, of all the times I've driven and parked in illegal spots, have I ever gotten to it? No, but it's never been like a high profile. I mean, I went for the jugular, like, I'm taking big risks. This is a big game, a lot of eyeballs on it. So I actually have been admiring myself for doing it. So now our car is at a towed lot. So the car got towed. Oh, we don't have service to get an Uber, so we have to walk across the bridge. We're walking across the bridge. Yeah. The Titan's lost, by the way. Everyone's pissed. Everyone's mad. We don't, we're not Titans fans, really, so we're, we don't care. I mean, we like it. It's cool, yeah. But we're just making the most of this moment that Julia got the car towed. Whatever, bro. Don't even move on me. All you right. left me with the car. What do you expect me to do? <laughs> I did my best with the tools that I had. What tools did you have? Not much. Not much. I almost went home and was like, I'll just Uber. You and should. I should have done that. Well, if you... But okay. then you would have been like, mad that I you're wasn't just, there in time. You're just a lollygagger. No, you're I'm one of the not. biggest lollygaggers I I'm know. Not, I had plans this afternoon. Okay? No, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. You were just sitting there by the fireplace. You are like, uh, I'm, I'm going to go yeah, shopping. Yeah, and I made myself plans. And then, and you had no plans. And then you were like, cool, I'm going to go to the Titans game. We're like, great. No, we talked about it before you even left the house. No, no, we, yeah, okay. we did. As a, a, a possibility, and then it never happened. And then you called me, of course, when I leave the house. And it's like, it's happening. It's like, okay, now you change That's everything. True. Julia was saying, hey, we should do it. And I was like, I don't know, I'm chilling. Don't, you're such a blamer. You blame. It's really you're freaking cold. It's so cold. I'm not having it. Well, thanks for coming. So last night, I don't. I know we took some vlog clips on our phone, but we went to the Titans playoff game. They lost to mm -hmm. the Bengals in the last three seconds. And our car got towed. Our car got towed. Mm -hmm. um, but we're back in the car. First time I had Julia meet me somewhere and drive on her own. And she parked in the legal spot, which I did advise her to. I was like, you if did. you can't find parking, just find a spot. And we'll deal with any consequences, but you'll probably find if you find something and you're smart about it. Well, Julia parked in a fire lane. It wasn't a fire lane. Julia basically, uh, like, but there were other cars there. Were you That's walk, why I did it. Where you walk into the stadium, like give them your tickets. She basically like pulled up and parked right in front where you like walk in and give them your ticket. No, it was pretty like, much across from there. Pretty much. 
you know, we, we were like, get inside. So you like, parked where like Uber it. drivers pick you up, basically. There were other cars there, so so yeah. I was like, cool, like other people are doing it. Like, I'm gonna No, do it. it's fine. It was yeah. fine. Anywho, I, I think it's funny. I was giving her a hard time yesterday for Honestly, it. Honestly, okay, it's really hard to, when you're in a situation like that by yourself and you'll only have like one brain to kind of yeah. like bounce off of, you're like laying out all the options and you're like weighing it out and you're like, what should I do? Is this smart or is this smart? And you have no one to like bounce off of. I it's kind of hard and we do everything together. So I think like, yeah, I'm just not used to. And I was under. And you're not normally the driver. You're not I was under the pressure of time. It was cold. I was in a place I didn't know. Yeah, no. It was, it, a was lot. it was a weird situation. It was a lot. And I was actually kind of worried for you because I was sitting in my seat at the game, waiting for Julia, hoping that she could like find our section and get through like just of course navigate. I that. No, I That's know. Easy. I'm saying like yeah. get through and like yeah. navigate all the way to where my seat was. Like I there's know. a lot of things that has to get done for I her know. to get here. I know. Um, so I was like a little worried about you and the phone services, like. There was no phone service in the stadium. No phone service. Um, but anyway, it's all good. We went to yeah. the game, and then afterward we went and uh, had dinner with our friends Josh and Taylor at their yeah. house because they just had their baby. Yep. Um, and their baby's in the NICU. So yeah. So we went and spent time with them. They were in the hospital for five months, or excuse me, for five weeks. Yeah. Uh, the five previous weeks, so we hadn't seen them. And with them. Over a month, they were stuck in the on bed rest in the hospital. Yeah. So wanted to spend some time with them mm -hmm. um and yeah we had dinner that and was nice. hung out for a little bit but and we slept good and did it pop the you, you know it's funny a year ago or a year and a half ago we were talking about how our friends are just had their baby and that baby's in icu i know and there's cody and ashley our friends in texas yeah we were talking about this with the, um josh and taylor last night actually just how there's like a lot of nicu babies lately and um it seems um, maybe just more relevant in our circle, but we know like, multiple people that have had uh, premature babies and wondering if there's like a re reason for that, you know? Yeah, you're definitely starting to see it more and more, huh? Mm, yeah. Um, but I was also kind of thinking last night if it's not like if there's not a reason that's like a medical reason, mm -hmm. it could just be the fact that during COVID more people got pregnant. So maybe there's an influx in total pregnancies across the board. Mm -hmm. And so that would mean if the percentage stays the same of like NICU babies or premature babies, that number two would go up. Well, I don't know. No. but it is very interesting. It's the same thing that goes to like we talk about how it feels like everyone we come across these days has like some kind of like anxiety or depression. Yeah. And it's like, what is the cause of that? Is it because of COVID? Is it because of the iPhone? Is it because of social media? I think like a lot of the technology of the in general. Yeah, like I, I think that we were talking about this with our friends last night and just we were all saying like when's the last time that you can you remember feeling like anxious or depressed, like what age did it begin? And for me it was like when phones came out. Well actually mostly when like social media, like I didn't have it yeah. until really college, which is when like we, like really since like Instagram came out. Right. When you're like heavily like your life is like well, you're, just, you're like, expected your to show up online and you're looking at everybody. That's when for me it really started to pick up. Um but I don't remember like as a kid like never feeling that way. Before, when phones were Did you feel exist. that way in college at all? Not until... Or was it primarily post-college? In college. Well, I don't know. It actually kind of all began it, when I had that, that fainting incident. That mm, was when my anxiety started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, it's weird to think about those things because is there like deeper reason or meaning behind why people might be feeling the way they're feeling and why it's like a, a larger group of people and not just like, I don't know. I'm, yeah. I almost feel that because of social media, a lot of the world's identity has now been in social media. So yeah. when you slip back and get into your own thoughts and remove social media from your thoughts. You can't handle it. Well, you're almost like, who am I? Right, which is, I think, a normal, like, brain reaction. Like, when you, it's almost like, okay, me, like, last night, for instance. Like, we, we do everything together where we start to, like, rely on each other's brains. Let's, and then yeah, when I'm parking, normal, though, like, I'm by myself. and couples relationship. To totally. I'm just saying, like, like, as a comparison. Yeah. Of, like 
the, the thought process. Like, okay, now that I'm not focused on everyone else, like when you log out of an app and all you're thinking about is like comparison or what everyone else is doing and then when you start to think about you, then you're like, shoot, I haven't really spent as much time on like what's going on in here as I should be. Mm -hmm. Then you're like freak out and you're like, totally. no. Just like by yourself. Yeah, and then you're like, how do I do this? Yeah. Um, well, independency is really good. It's like good practice, like yeah. independency itself, but also like being an independent thinker, being an independent doer. Becoming independent and learning how to take care of myself was the exact thing that like allowed me to build confidence. But I think these days people get so nervous to like leave the cocoon, leave their family, and they're like, I can't imagine. And it's like, if you want like to become stronger and independent and like more confident are you have to learn like sometimes how to survive on your own like family yeah. is so important and then course, it, that doesn't mean you're you have to move away from your family no we're just saying like those examples for us were what helped us so much in um who we are today totally and helped us grow helped us become independent yeah um when you learn to like rely on yourself then you know that you can take care of you and you feel good yeah i would say stronger. like first time experiences by yourself are what help you grow yeah like, there's times where we go and go on a trip somewhere or do an experience together for the first time, and that's great. We have those memories together in those moments. But when you do something on your own that's a first-time experience, it's so mentally challenging that you grow so much off of that. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, yeah. Well, anyways, I think, too, like, there's probably... We've had COVID in the past two years... We have social media, which is really intense. We also have, like, hustle culture, which I think is a big piece. And I think all of that is, like, thrown off, like, our balance a lot, right? Like, and that's, I think, why a lot of people feel stressed and anxious. And it's, like, how can you find more balance in all things? Did you know our one year was, like, three days ago? Our one year? Our, oh, for our Nashville? Nashville one year wow. was, like, three days ago. Full year. We should that's have a little, uh... Nashville anniversary party. We should. Hey. <laughs> it Aww. flew by, huh? It flew by. Time flies. So what's crazy fun. is we, we we've been ever. here for a year during COVID. Yeah. And that flew by compared to the year in Texas. Totally. Oh my gosh. Because we were just like stuck at home and we were kind of in the suburbs, so we didn't really see too many people other no. than family. And yeah. Yeah. I think for uh, I think for us this is like a side note. I think we're a little bored, like, we wanted to take some time off YouTubing because we've been a little bit bored with our routine. Yeah. Because it feels like it's been the same. I know a lot yeah. of people we've talked to have felt the same about their own life. Yes. And we're in the process of creating, like, a new routine for ourselves, mm -hmm. pursuing new things new for passions. ourselves. Going after new things, new ideas, exploring. Looking for change. And there's... We're allowed to do that on our own, and we're allowed to like have a piece of that that's like ours. We've talked about that before, but we're trying to find certain things that we do want to share with y'all, and like yeah. d decide what, what we what's worth sharing, what's not worth sharing, like what um, we want to let people in on, what we want to keep to ourselves and keep yeah. private. We're balanced, but like the routine itself, it's good to be on a routine. But after a while, like it's good to see some change in your life. And Definitely. Um, well, if you're not changing, then that means you're not growing. Exactly. That means there's no progress in your life. So that's yeah. not a good sign. That's what we, we always laugh at when comments come in or like we'll get direct messages and, and people will say like, I've noticed like you've definitely changed since you moved to Nashville. I'm like, good. And it's like, <laughs> thank God. Thank like, God. If you're not changing, like, and we're not expecting you to change with us, like on no. our timing like no, everyone's on but we hope y'all are changing too yeah we hope you're not in the same place you were in two and a half three years ago well you want to like make sure that um you're evolving yeah and like and we're growing not, growing and things getting uncomfortable we're not just talking like financially or mentally no. or personality wise like we're talking everything across the board yeah everything like who you are as a person you should be changing yeah you should be like making new friends, hanging with new people, challenging yourself, trying new restaurants, yep. traveling to new places. Because like, learning new vocabulary. What I'm I don't know. learning is like in in like 
curiosity and exploration is like where you discover new things about yourself and if you always are doing the same over and over again then you'll never uh, expand because you're not experiencing anything new you're always doing the same thing same routines everything um, so whether that's like adding a new workout in uh, going and getting in social situations that make you a little bit uncomfortable you're meeting new people and you have to actually like use a new social skill or um, it could be in your job like going for something anything um, which I am you're probably better at that than me but I'm trying mm -hmm. to be better that's not true I think you're really good at it you do you kind of throw yourself into things I do yeah. Oh, I've been wanting to try that place. What place? St. Stephen? Well, you know it would be fun after, if we can't get into Adele's, to go to the taco place. Uh, um, um, Red-Headed Stranger? Yeah. Okay, we're pulling up to church. We have my parking and stuff, but... The church we're going to, and uh, we've been here a couple times before, it's called the Belonging Co. Yeah. Good worship. Oh, I can't wait for the music. So um, good. I think they're in a series right now, so it'll be interesting to see if we can, like, pick up and follow... I'm sure God has something in there for us. Like, 100%. So, it's going to be great. All right, see you after. Adios. All right, I just got home from the gym. It's Monday morning. Um, Julia had placed some overnight oats in the fridge. Bada boom, bada bing. And we are toasting some almonds and walnuts to put in there. And we got some banana, some berries, nice little breakfast. That's super filling, very good. And Booker's having his breakfast. Mm -hmm. We've been getting a lot of questions all the time on YouTube, on Instagram about what food Booker eats. And I think we showed it before, but it is this Northwest Naturals. This is the brand, it comes frozen. And this is the raw beef. Uh, they have like a bunch of different raw recipes. They have like lamb, salmon, um, all kinds of stuff. But we do the beef. He really likes it, and we just put put them in um, like bowls with lids on them in the fridge to thaw them out. We put about like six in the fridge at a time and have them for three days because we feed them in the morning and then at night. Uh, but we really like this stuff a lot and would recommend it. We're not pushing it on you though. We just are answering the question of. What do we use? Some people disagree with raw diet. Some people are very pro raw diet. Make your own decision and do you. You do you. For nine oats. Okay. Stir them up a little. This is oats, oat milk, chia seeds, and cinnamon. I just toasted some nuts. I feel like the toast adds a little more flavor. All right. Gorgeous. <laughs> Breakfast with the Havens. Cheers. Cheers. Yum. There's something about lately like putting a little effort in your food. Well, for me. And like cooking it and actually like knowing it's good ingredients and everything's fresh and it just like even if it's healthy, like it tastes, it's like better than junk food. It just tastes mm -hmm. so good. So good. Miami tomorrow. Miami tomorrow. Miami prep today. Julie's going to Miami tomorrow. On a girl's trip with Orium. I think we talked about that. Mm -hmm. um, my parents come in on Friday. Which when Julie gets back. So you're going Tuesday through Friday, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then my parents come in on Friday and are here for a couple days. And then we're going to the Smokies for a couple days and then back to Nashville. And so we have a lot of work to do today mm -hmm. in order to prep before she leaves. And then I'll hold down the fort, getting things prepped for my parents, staying on top of our business, taking care of Booker, mm -hmm. taking care of the house. It's easy. Just the routine. Just the norm. Mm hmm But. Right, you get to like. Because we've taken off time from work the past couple weeks. Mm hmm It's all kind of crashing down on us. Mm hmm Which is what I. Mm hmm One of me after this. Was afraid of. 
But also when I kind of knew it would happen. Mm. I kind of knew it would happen. It was nice to have that time off though. Mm -hmm. Mentally. But that's how any job goes. You gotta like take time off for yourself. like, mm -hmm. Or else you're operating out of a place of fear. Like there's not going to be like, like enough time for anything. And it's like to think that you don't have time to rest is not a safe place to be in. Well, I know. Rest is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm so thankful for the time that we had off. Mm -hmm. I'm on vacation. And so good. It like allowed me to just like really work through a lot of stuff in my brain. And now I feel like so balanced. I'm happy about that. Mm -hmm. Booker's been super annoying lately. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Like really hyper. And we're so like working him out we did hikes this weekend frisbees every day and he like it's like the energy levels are just rising the older he gets i also think it's hard because he hears us like talking so he knows know. like something's going on i was thinking that like we were on facetime last night with delaney and clayton and he was kind of like going crazy it's like we're talking and, ha and having conversation and he can hear us all he's talking like, and he's mm -hmm. like he's like what's happening he's like like pay attention he like, wants to, me, to be a part you know of it me? i know but it's like, it's not about you. Mm -hmm. All hours of the day. Little dog. Little dog is. You want to collab on like our to-do list and like what we got to get done today? Yeah. We'll need a dividing conquer. Mm-hmm. I'm going to shower first. Mm-hmm. Do you want to just... I'd like to know what's on the list before so I can... Start. Mm, uh -huh. Before we shower. Okay. So I just like can like rest up here and know what we got to do. And we don't need to overpack it. Well, some of the stuff is like... Some of the partnerships that are due in February or go live in February, we'll need to get them over to them beforehand. Mm -hmm. But you don't get back till the 28th, and then my parents are here, so should we just We can home? work up at the cabin now. Yeah, and we can work here too in Nashville. Yeah. But just like, I don't want to be editing the whole time my parents are here. No. And I don't well, why don't you edit work. while I'm gone? Edit like I'm going, two no, or three I'm vlogs. going to. And just that That's focus. why I'm like wanting to make sure we're filming. Mm hmm. And that I have something to edit. Yeah. <clears throat> For sure. Are you going to um, vlog your trip? I don't know. I was going to ask you. Should I? What do you think? I think it'd be cool. Yeah. Might as well. What's up, everybody? Cooking some dinner. Making label. It is six, favorite. 6 40 p.m. That was a little greasy. Julie's been packing for her little trip she's going on. Yeah. Um, and we're making label. Which is one of our favorite. We have this like what? Every two weeks? Definitely. Or I like a month, at least like something similar to it. Yeah. We used to have it like every week, but it's been a while. Oh, yeah. Um super good. We do label with salmon. So good. Oh my god. It's so easy and fast. It's like literally 15 minute meal. One of my favorite things that they do is with the parmesan. So they don't shred it, but they chop it up they, to like, it's like small little crumbles. Yeah. Little that's... cubes. What's in the dressing? The dressing is literally mayonnaise, sriracha, and lemon juice. And I just eyeball it. So good. You just throw it a little on top. You can do whatever. Like, you can do pesto. You can do whatever you want. And I always try to think what we can add to this. And we're doing it with spinach. Yeah, our, our arugula is bad, so. Yeah, a lot of times we do the arugula. A lot of times we use just microwavable rice. Tonight we're using the quinoa and brown rice with garlic. Makes it super easy and fast instead of cooking rice from scratch. ingredients besides the salmon and I'm just gonna frizzle the sriracha mayo lemon mix and kind of toss everything together get it coated I think tonight we're gonna add some crunchy chickpeas kind of like how they do it radish you know And then the salmon. 